welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 10 products that I would repurchase if something happens to all of my makeup and it just disappears or if somebody steals it, which would be horrible. So I'm just going to walk through all of the products that I would repurchase. And everything that I mention in this video, I basically use every day or almost every single day. And I'm actually wearing a majority of these products on my face right now. The first item that I would definitely repurchase is this Beauty Blender sponge. And this little sponge is pretty pricey. It's about $20 at Sephora, but it is definitely worth it. I use it almost every single day and it makes my makeup look flawless. And I definitely would repurchase this little, this little spongy sponge. And next, I use this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder so much. This is in 001 Transparent, and it's just a really nice, light, translucent powder that mattifies my face, and I really like the way it smells, and you can get this from any drugstore. The next item that I would go out and buy is this MAC Pigment, and this is in the color Vanilla. I use this almost every single day to highlight in my inner corners, underneath my brow bones, cupid's bow, and also as a cheekbone highlight. So this is a very multi-purpose product. It's also really pretty. If you put a little bit in your lip gloss, it can really change the look of your lip gloss. So I definitely love this one. It's basically an opal white shade. Some lights it looks a little bit pinker, and in some lights it looks a little bit more golden. So it's a really nice eyeshadow, especially for all over the lids. And for blush, I absolutely love this blush. It's from Tarte. It's their Amazonian Clay Blushes. And this is in the color Blissful. It's a really nice peachy pink. And it's just the perfect coral shade. And I'm wearing it right now. It looks great all year, um, especially in the summer. And it stays on for a very long time as well. For bronzer, I really love this Hula Benefit bronzer, and this is actually a new one, so I did go back out and repurchase it. It comes with a little brush, so I wouldn't have to really buy a brush, but these aren't too good of quality, but if my makeup disappeared, I wouldn't really worry about buying brushes, because a lot of the items actually come with either sponges or brushes. So this is what the bronzer looks like. I really like the way it looks on my fair skin. Skin, and it's one of my favorite bronzers out there. So Hula Bronzer is definitely an item that I would go out and repurchase. This is an eyebrow powder and I know a lot of people really didn't mention eyebrow products in the 10 products they would repurchase, but since my eyebrows are very light because I do have blonde hair, you can't really even see my eyebrows unless I fill it in with some sort of eyebrow powder. So I love this eyeshadow from MAC, it's in the shade Omega, and it's perfect if you have blonde eyebrows, it's just the perfect shade. So I definitely cannot go a day without filling in my eyebrows, especially if I'm not even wearing makeup. I still try to fill in my eyebrows because it just transforms the way that your face looks. So I definitely need an eyebrow powder. And another MAC item is this MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Sun Protection 35, and my color is in NC15. I use this every single day to cover up my acne blemishes. It's a little heavy for underneath of my eyes, but if I use it with my Beauty Blender sponge um, that is damp, it can definitely work and sheer it out a little bit. And some people actually use this as a foundation all over your face. So instead of buying a foundation, I can definitely just use a concealer and then add a powder on top. For my eyes, for mascara, I love this Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've been using this every single day. I have some other uh, mascara favorites from the drugstore, but this has to be one of my all-time favorites. I just love the application. I just really love the way that it applies, and the brush is really cool because it has a spiky top, and it just grabs every single lash and coats it from the bottom to the top and it just really is nice for my eyelashes. It lengthens, it curls them and doesn't look clumpy so I definitely love this mascara from Benefit. And another eye product is this MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. It's kind of a boring product to show but I do wear it almost every single day to prime my eyes and it also gets rid of any discoloration or veins or redness on your eyes. It just makes it a really nice blank 
clean canvas to work on before you apply eyeshadow. It's very smooth and creamy and I've actually had this one for quite some time. Um, I would say over a year. So it doesn't dry out and I just really love this MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And the last product that I'm going to show you guys today is a lip product. Now this took me very long to decide and I just wanted to show you guys this lip gloss because I wear this almost every single day. It's in my purse and I just love these lip glosses in general. They're so smooth and creamy. So they are from Buxom and it's their lip creams and this is in the shade Pink Lady. It's a light baby pink. It looks great with any makeup combination and these lip glosses are just so smooth and creamy. They smell really good too. They have a vanilla scent and they also have a little mint scent too. really like this lip gloss. One of my all-time favorites. So that's it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did this video or if you want to do this video, I tag each and every one of you. Leave your videos a video response. I would love to watch it and I'll see you all in my next video.